Hi, Robin here. With a simple drill to help anybody who's struggling with their, their downswing or their transition. I think most people will know by now that the downswing needs to be started from the ground up, where there's perhaps a little bit of a push into your left foot. The hips lead the shoulders, the shoulders lead the arms, the arms lead the club head. But at full speed, and in one movement, this can be very difficult to feel for many players. So, what I ask a lot of my players to do is that, in their practice, just hit some shots where you take your backswing and you stop, perhaps three or four seconds, and then learn to create speed from this static position. So, from a tee peg, we're going to feel the shift to the left, the rotation of the hips, trigger the speed in my swing. In experimenting with this drill, I see players who don't have the correct downswing sequence really struggle to create any speed or any distance. Players who know how to create the speed from the ground up, even from that static position, could hit the ball almost or just as far as they normally do. And that's a good reference for you to know if you're doing it correctly or not. And if you practice this enough, that eventually you can hit the ball just as far as you normally do, you will develop a very good sense or awareness of how to start your downswing. You'll have a feeling for it, and then you can add it to a one motion swing. Simple drill, take your time in anything really, take your time learning a new movement, add a pause to the top of your swing so you can develop an awareness and a feel of the correct transition and downswing.